A shocking report prepared by the Federal Space Agency for Prime Minister Putin states that one of the United States' most important space facilities, located in Fort Worth, Texas, was attacked this past week by alien forces intent on destroying Vimna technology transported there after its discovery by U.S. troops in Afghanistan, and as we had previously reported on in our December 21, 2010 report world leaders flocked to Afghanistan after mysterious time well discovered. According to this report, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's, NASA, Aviation Systems Division, located on a remote section of the giant Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport and responsible for engineering the software needed to control the airspace over North America, suffered a nearly half-hour-long sustained attack resulting in the deaths of over 500 U.S. military and space contractors working on Vimna technology. Most incredible to note about this alien attack upon the U.S. was its being videotaped, but quickly explained away by America's propaganda media as being nothing more than transformer explosions caused by lightning, even though no such thing appears in the video and no explosive sounds can be heard at all. Important to note about Vimna technology is that this mysterious aircraft is the long-known mythological flying machine described in the ancient Sanskrit epics that existed prior to the last overturning of our Earth and were purported to have weapons eerily similar to today's atomic bombs. The reason for the Americans transporting the captured Vimna technology to their NASA facility in Fort Worth, this report continues was to attempt its use in one of the United States' most secret flying machines described as the Black Triangle said to have been reverse-engineered from alien technology and stationed there since the late 1980s. Interesting to note is that one of these American Black Triangle UFOs can, also, be seen on videotape after this past August when a game camera set up by Lisa Brock Pikarski near the Dallas-Fort Worth airport captured it hovering in the night sky for over two hours. By all accounts coming from the United States, and as we had previously reported on in our April 24 report U.S. warns Russia, aliens on their way, will be here in 2016, though the Americans know the dangers of what they are dealing with they still seem determined to ally themselves with a faction of these alien gods many in Russia believe will endanger all human life on this planet. In our May 10th report Rip in Space-Time Vortex over Russian city shocks scientists we further noted that the motherland is not immune to these types of alien attacks either, and which by all accounts are believed will get worse as a new NASA video appears to show that the massive UFO armada headed towards Earth behind the mysterious comet Elenin is much larger than originally thought. To the American people being told, or for that fact any Westerner, about the true and grim situation relating to these returning ancient gods there appears to be little likelihood. But as the Sorka Fall noted many years ago in her seminal work Battle Begins for Throne of This World, the return of the Ain Herjar warriors, when the noted French seer Nostradamus wrote in Quatrain 6, 21 the words, when those of the Arctic Pole are united together, great terror and fear in the East, newly elected, the great trembling supported, Rhodes, Byzantium stained with barbarian blood, the next overturning of our world would be close at hand. And with this past week's signing of a new Arctic agreement between Russia, the US and other Arctic nations this future time warned about by Nostradamus might be closer than anyone can believe, especially when viewed in the light of new WikiLeaks cables showing the fears that an Arctic resources rivalry could very well lead to military conflict between NATO and Russia. Though the information contained in this report will, and as always, be discounted by those in the West, especially the Americans, the same cannot be said of those knowing the truth of these things in the motherland, who having access to many of the same secret and top secret reports we do are now reported to be building massive underground bunkers to protect themselves from what is to come, and as we can read, in part, as reported by the Bloomberg News Service in their article Rich Russians. By Bunkers on Apocalypse Angst Terrorism can be good for bunker builders. An apocalypse can be even better for business. Danila Andreev started building panic rooms three years ago, when fears of terrorist attacks and commercial disputes turning violent created demand in Russia. Now he's selling survival bunkers for as much as $400,000 each to capitalize on angst over theories the world will end next year. I myself am not a believer in doomsday scenarios, Andreev. 31, whose Spitzjaproenite company is completing 15 bunkers at hidden locations across Russia, 
said at his office in central Moscow. But when you start hearing clients talking about the end of the world, it gets you thinking. Thinking, however, appears to be lacking among the once proud American people who once lived by the motto, to be forewarned is to be forearmed, but whose new credo seems to be who cares.